So now let's get the turbo out of the way and continue on. Before we continue, I'm gonna plug these holes over here because we don't wanna drop anything in these exhaust manifolds because you can accidentally drop a bolt in there and that's not gonna be good. Now, all these gaskets will be replaced, okay? I got new gaskets, so we're gonna replace all these gaskets. We're gonna remove the turbo pedal store, and then we're gonna come back over here up front and disconnect the upper radiator hose and everything else that connect to the intake manifold. Now, I'm gonna show you how wet it is down here. You see all this oil over here? So, we did make the right call. This oil cooler is leaking badly because if now if you look up here, I hope you can see. You see the oil? You see that oil over there? Let me see if I can touch it and show it to you. You see this? So this is oil, guys. I'm just touching the bottom of the pedal store. You see that? So this is all oil leaking from the oil cooler. Okay, actually we're gonna see it more clearly once we start to remove the turbo pedal store. Okay, so we're good. We're making progress. Yeah, you see all that oil back there? All this oil is coming from the oil cooler. So that's good. We know we made the right call. The next step is gonna be disconnecting the electrical connectors over here. We're gonna disconnect this swirl motor over here. And then we're gonna disconnect the upper radiator hose, okay? So I'm gonna put you over here so we can undo that. So at this point, I'm just pushing all the lines and all the electrical connectors that I disconnected out of the way. So pretty much these few lines are gonna get pushed out of the way. So I'm making room, I'm making as much room as possible. So now I'm gonna remove the upper radiator hose. So here comes the upper radiator hose.
at this point, the next step is going to be removing this thermostat housing and then this high pressure fuel line. So I'm removing all the brackets, all the lines that are in the way of removing the intake. So anything that's in the way, we're going to undo so we can remove the intake manifolds. So we got this bracket removed. As you can see, we're gaining some room over here around the intake manifold. We're gonna disconnect this fuel return line. There's a clip over here that I have to pull up. Okay, so this one. So here comes the fuel line. So here comes the turbo pedestal. I undid these two bolts and then it has two more up here. Okay. So just like that. So I'm going to get this out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to remove this wiring harness. I'm going to loosen it and lift it up so I can have enough room to slide the intake manifolds out. Okay. So
So we're just gonna lift this up like this. Okay, so I disconnected the glow plugs and now the wiring harness can go even higher up, which is good. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna disconnect these zip ties over here so we can lift the wiring harness even higher. So now what I'm going to do is I want to lift this wiring harness really, really up like this so I can have enough room over here. I'm going to remove this fuel rail so I can be able to lift the wiring harness even higher up. So I'm going to disconnect. This pressure switch over here. So here comes the fuel rail. I'm gonna get it out of the way. All right, so now we can lift this wiring harness even higher up like this. Okay, so the swirl motor is undone. So now I'm gonna undo all these bolts that hold the intake manifolds on the cylinder heads. But before I remove 
the intake manifold bolt, I'm gonna clean up the surface over here first. So we have cleaned this surface here. So now we're gonna start removing the intake manifold. I'm gonna undo this bolt up here first. So now we're gonna start removing the intake manifold bolt. All right, I got all the intake manifold bolts undone. So now I'm gonna pry the intake manifold out. So I'm gonna rack it back and forth nicely and gently. So I'm working the intake manifold out slowly. So the intake manifold is out. So now we're gonna lift it up so we can get it out. I forgot one hose over here that I have to undo. All right, so we got the hose undone. So now we're gonna lift our intake manifolds gently. We're gonna remove this sleeve that goes between the intake manifolds. So here comes the intake manifolds. So the intake manifolds are removed. So we're gonna get them out of the way. So here they come. So here is what we got. We removed the intake manifold. Here is our oil cooler. And when you look closely down here, you see that we have oil all around this oil cooler, okay? Now, some of the oil got washed off by the coolant that leaked down here. But as you can see, we have a lot of oil over here, okay? So, we're gonna remove and replace this oil cooler and the cooler gaskets. Now, before we remove this oil cooler, I'm going to clean this surface up because we don't want any dirt falling into the block. So I'm gonna clean up around this oil cooler and I'm also gonna clean up these intake orifices over here. You see all this carbon 
build up over here. So I'm gonna clean this off really nicely and then I'm gonna bring you guys back up so we can replace the oil cooler.